How did you find out about this, this gruesome murder? I just happened across a news article and it, the name John Robert Charlton popped up and I was like, oh my goodness. So I started reading it and I immediately went into shock. I got sick to my stomach. I couldn't even speak. When you read that, did it strike a chord within you that said, I can believe this? Oh yeah, definitely. I actually remember saying to myself, I'm not surprised. Because you understand, we're talking about somebody that murdered the mother of three, allegedly, dismembered her body and scattered it around. Now, he's not admitted that. Right. And so we have to say that. But what in your experience made you say, I, I believe it? Well, he's very charming, witty, very smart. But I could tell that there was something about him that just was off, maybe a little mental instability. Um, there, there was just a, there was a dark side to him. I tell him, there, there is something scary about your eyes, something mysterious and just off about your, your eyes. And he's like, don't say that. Now, how long were you in a relationship with him? Roughly six months. We started seeing each other December of 2012, and I ended it August 2013. When you first met him, was he clearly trying to get in a relationship with you? How it happened was we were working together, and we started hanging out and got into a relationship, and uh, we were kind of together off and on during those six months. Was he attentive? Was he loving? Was he... Very much so. I remember when we had first gotten together, my daughter was really sick, so he actually um, came and visited us at the hospital, brought me food, I was starving, brought her a teddy bear. So he moved in with you and your daughter? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And when he moved in, was he comfortable to be around, living together 24-7? Yes and no. After, after he did move in, I kind of noticed, I felt like I was walking on eggshells. He kind of gave me the sense sometimes that everything I did wasn't good enough. I didn't want to do anything that would be wrong in his eyes. And when you did something that was wrong in his eyes, how would he express that? It was almost like he gave me a lecture, you know, because he was a very black and white thinker. It's either this way or this way with him. And it was hard convincing him otherwise. So he was, like, he was a difficult per We We did argue. We fought a lot, actually. And how did that go? A lot of the times we did argue was alcohol involved. When he drank, he became a completely different person. He was mean, stubborn, bullheaded. He was never violent, like he never hit me or anything like that. It was mostly just emotionally, just really, he'd really get inside your head.